The purpose of the first jack-o'-lantern was to ward off the evil spirits on All Hallows' Eve in the early 1800s. Now pumpkin carving is a fun tradition for all age groups to enjoy. We decided to put a twist on this tradition with a friendly competition. We're Team Graveyard and we're here to kill the competition. <laughs> we're Team Vincent and Sebastian and we're here to carve some pumpkins. <laughs> After we get the guts out of this pumpkin, the competition begins. Yay. <laughs> Here we have a pumpkin carving kit. You can't carve a pumpkin without a pumpkin carving kit. So make sure you have your pumpkin carving kit. Oh, oh, that smells weird. It smells like pumpkin. Did you know that the word pumpkin was first used in the fairy tale Cinderella? Did you guys know that pumpkins are grown in every single continent on Earth except Antarctica? Did you? Did you know that? Whoa. Did you know that? Whoa. Did you know that? <laughs> I, I think, did you know that pumpkins most often tend to be the color orange? No way. Yeah. Fun fact. Whoa. Yeah. Now that we have finished cleaning out the pumpkins, we have five minutes to brainstorm our ideas for the pumpkin carving, and then 30 minutes to execute the carving plan. Go. Go. We actually change the time from 30 minutes to 20 minutes because it will make more of a challenge for both teams, especially them, because they're going to lose anyway, so... What if they just, like, plan that? Hook that up. Oh, should we cut out all that other junk? Yeah. Just put it in the trash. What? Oh! Michael! No! <laughs> okay, so as it turns out, pumpkin carving is kind of harder than it looks. So we're actually adding another 10 minutes on to coming back to our original 30 minutes. <laughs> it's been about 40 minutes since we started carving our pumpkins. And this job is a little bit harder than it seems. If you have a neighbor and they have a good jack-o'-lantern on their front porch, take the time to knock on their door and tell them that they have a good jack-o'-lantern. Yes because they took hard work and dedication to make that jack-o'-lantern. Now that the pumpkin carving is complete, it's time for them to be judged. Mr. Story, Miss Price, and Miss Dorsey will be blindly judging the pumpkins to determine which one is the best. I chose Pumpkin number one. I felt that pumpkin number one had the most gore, uh, and it also had some extra like stuff seeping out of the eyes and out of the corner of the mouth that I hold his foam, but I'm still not quite sure if that's true. I, I just think pumpkin number two was a little vapid, a little self-serving. Um, didn't really have anything scary about it, except it's a big gaping hole in the middle of a piece of uh, a vegetable. Right. I also like pumpkin number one. Uh, ditto. <laughs> Most of those same reasons. Um, covered up the, the fact that it just sliced through and, and it fell apart really well. I like the whole, it's, it's now, it's, now it's foam and scary. Um, for me, it would have to be pumpkin number one as well. I, I just, I'm a big fan of the foaming out of the eye as well as the mouth. That's a very nice touch. And the teeth. I feel like that's, ah, it's teeth. a hard cut and you, and you did it pretty good. So, just as we thought, me and Michael are the unanimous winners. And as you can see, pumpkin number one is a dime. Anything to say? This has been Michael Rodriguez. And Nevaeh Lopez. Reporting for Across, Across Campus. Campus.